Keep bringing up Canelo. I, I think that's weird, you know, because you'd have to gain like what twenty pounds. Yeah. But they they say that's the money fight. That's the right. mega fight. That's the money fight. That's the only thing that makes sense for Terence Crawford. Well, you know what I mean. Catch weight. We can do something that a catch weight. But what you think? One sixty or something. Because you said you you said one fifty four is the highest you want to go. Yeah, one fifty eight. Canelo's next fight is set to be against Chris Eubank Jr. Not a fight against Terence Crawford or even David Benavidez. Terence Crawford has called out Canelo many times and said it is the biggest fight in boxing. Terence Crawford versus Canelo Alvarez is the biggest fight in boxing right now. Like it or not, it's just Imago Super Saiyan Blue Ultra Instinct. I'm not scared and I most definitely believe in myself, even if no one else does. However, Canelo Alvarez has said numerous of times that he is not willing to go down in weight. I can't, I can't go down anymore. But uh, you know, like he say, you know, when they ask him for the Germanta fight, they don't want to get credit for that fight. It's the same for me. I don't, I don't need to take that fight because everybody's going to say, it's too small, it's too small, it's too small. And then, you know, he, he needs to enjoy his fight. I went 68, but uh, like I say, like he say, uh, nobody's going to give me credit for right, that. Thank you very much. It has now been revealed that Canelo is opting to fight Chris Eubank Jr. instead. Canelo Alvarez versus Chris Eubank Jr. is reportedly now in negotiations, and it's claimed this fight is the frontrunner to happen next. Errol Spence has said that this fight is one of the biggest in boxing, and if it was to happen, he would have his money on Terence to get the job done. Unfortunately, though, it's not as easy as just getting the papers signed, and now with Canelo fighting Eubank next, it's looking a further doubt. Terence Bud Crawford's ambition to fight Canelo Alvarez isn't just about the titles or the glory, it's about his legacy. Crawford has already unified titles and dominated his weight class, but he wants more. He seeks to challenge himself in ways few fighters dare to by stepping up to face someone like Canelo, who is widely regarded as one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. This potential fight isn't just another bout. It represents a chance for Crawford to prove he belongs in the conversation of all-time greats. Crawford's career has been marked by a series of impressive victories across multiple weight classes. His ability to switch stances effortlessly, his exceptional ring IQ, and his knockout power make him a formidable opponent for anyone. Moving up in weight to face Canelo, however, presents a new set of challenges. It's not just about the physical aspect of adding pounds, but also about maintaining speed, agility, and endurance at a higher weight. Crawford's willingness to embrace these challenges speaks volumes about his character and his dedication to the sport. One of the main issues preventing the Crawford versus Canelo fight from happening is the weight difference. Canelo Alvarez has fought in various weight classes, but dropping down to meet Crawford would require a significant change in his training and diet. Losing weight can drastically affect a fighter's performance, reducing strength and stamina, which are crucial in a high-stakes fight. Canelo, who has been very strategic about his career moves, is understandably hesitant to make such a drastic change. Terrence Crawford, uh, his name keeps coming up, and I know he's a lot smaller than you. Is that a fight that you would ever consider under any circumstance? You know, I always say if the fight makes sense, why not? But uh, he's not in the plan. Crawford, on the other hand, is ready to move up in weight. This move shows his hunger for greatness and his belief in his own abilities. However, the physical demands of fighting at a higher weight class are not to be underestimated. Crawford would need to put on muscle mass without losing his speed and flexibility, which requires a meticulous training regimen and nutrition plan. Despite these challenges, Crawford's confidence and determination make him believe that he can overcome any obstacle to face Canelo. Canelo Alvarez's decision to fight Chris Eubank Jr. instead of Terence Crawford has been a topic of much debate. Eubank Jr. is a skilled fighter but he does not have the same allure or record as Crawford. For many fans, this fight feels like a letdown, especially when there were other, more exciting matchups on the table. From a strategic standpoint, choosing Eubank Jr. might make sense for Canelo. Eubank Jr. poses less of a threat compared to someone like Crawford or David Benavidez. 
This fight allows Canelo to maintain his status and potentially secure another victory without taking on the high risk that comes with fighting Crawford. However, this decision has also opened Canelo up to criticism. Fans and analysts alike have questioned whether he is avoiding more challenging opponents in favor of easier fights. Canelo fight, you know, realistically left your mind once he said he's not interested? Are you st no, are you still not, pursuing it? Not, like? not at all. You know, I think uh, business talk. You know, with the right uh, business come across the table, you know, uh, yeah, I have I just be talking, man. Canelo a big dude, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I believe in my abilities. He's not, he's a he's a heavy dude, but he's not a big guy. Like, he's 5'8", I'm 5'8", you know what I mean? My, my, my arm's longer than his, you know? Uh, so that fight, that fight would be, it would be good. The boxing community has not been shy about expressing their disappointment with Canelo's decision. Social media and boxing forums have been filled with fans voicing their frustration. The general sentiment is that Canelo is avoiding the toughest fights, which goes against the spirit of competition that fans love about boxing. They wanted to see a fight that would push both fighters to their limits, and Canelo versus Eubank Jr. does not meet those expectations. I would have loved to have watched Eubank JNR fight Canelo years ago, but it's now a mismatch, Emo. Fight doesn't make sense, Canelo is way above his level. For many, the dream fight remains Crawford versus Canelo. This matchup has all the ingredients of a classic. Two highly skilled fighters, both at the top of their game, willing to put everything on the line. The anticipation and excitement for such a fight are immense. Fans want to see who would come out on top in a battle of skill, strategy, and heart. The disappointment of not seeing this fight happen is palpable, and it's a topic that continues to be discussed fervently among boxing enthusiasts. In addition to Crawford, another fighter who has been overlooked by Canelo is David Benavidez. Benavidez is a formidable opponent known for his power, speed, and relentless pressure. Many fans believe that a fight between Canelo and Benavidez would be highly competitive and exciting. However, Canelo has not shown interest in this matchup either. Benavidez presents a unique challenge for Canelo. His aggressive style and powerful punches could potentially disrupt Canelo's rhythm and strategy. By not pursuing a fight with Benavidez, Canelo is seen as avoiding another dangerous opponent. This decision has added to the criticism that Canelo is choosing safer fights instead of taking on the toughest available challenges. Fans and analysts believe that a fight with Benavidez would be a true test of Canelo's abilities and would provide the kind of high-stakes drama that boxing fans crave. While the much-anticipated fight with Canelo is not happening, Terence Crawford is not sitting idle. His next opponent, Israel Madrimov, is a rising star in the boxing world. Madrimov is known for his speed, technical skills, and impressive record. This fight is an important test for both fighters and promises to be an exciting bout. Madrimov is a dangerous opponent who will be looking to make a name for himself by defeating one of the best in the sport. For Crawford, this fight is an opportunity to showcase his skills and prove that he is ready for any challenge. The bout will require Crawford to be at his best, as Madrimov is hungry and eager to take his place among the elite. This fight is also crucial for Crawford's career, as a win would further solidify his legacy and keep him in the conversation for potential future super fights, including a possible bout with Canelo. The dream fight between Terence Crawford and Canelo Alvarez may be on hold, but it's not entirely off the table. Boxing is a sport where anything can happen, and the landscape can change rapidly. If Crawford continues to dominate and Canelo decides to take on new challenges, the fight could still become a reality. For now, both fighters have their own paths to follow. Canelo will face Eubank Jr., and Crawford will take on Madrimov. Each fight presents its own set of challenges and opportunities. As the boxing world watches these events unfold, the possibility of a future Crawford versus Canelo fight 
remains a tantalizing prospect. Until then, fans will continue to support their favorite fighters and enjoy the thrilling action that boxing always delivers. Canelo's decision to fight Chris Eubank Jr. instead has disappointed many fans, but Crawford remains focused on his career and his upcoming fight against Israel Madrimov. The boxing world is full of possibilities, and fans can only hope that one day they will see Crawford and Canelo face off in the ring. Until then, the excitement and anticipation for Crawford's next fights continue to build, keeping fans engaged and eager for more. Like I say, if it makes sense, maybe. I don't know. I don't know right now. I just gonna enjoy this fight and please let me let me enjoy sure. this fight. And then and then you gonna know what is what is next for sure. If you guys enjoyed this video, let us know in the comments and what do you make of the new rumors? And if the biggest fight in boxing does happen, Canelo versus Crawford, who wins in your opinion, let us know in the comments. If you would like to watch any of our videos, they will be on the screen now, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more.